Hi everyone, my name is Nick. I'm one of the carnivore keepers here at Auckland Zoo. And today we're gonna to be doing a training session with our male Sumatran tiger, Rama. With me today is Tori. Hi. He's gonna be our primary trainer for Rama during our training session. Um, so he's gonna be getting Rama to target at different points along the wall, getting him to stand up and lie down and all those behaviors that um, give us good indication that he is nice and healthy. Cool. Ready? Ready when you are. Rama, come on. Come on, Rama. Good man, come on, my boy. Good man, hello. Good boy. Down. Good boy. We get him to sit down nice and calm, and once he's all good, I give Nick a head nod or a yup to say, can you open the other portholes? And then once that's done, um, I start the rest of the session. Ready to move, man? Let's go. All the way. Up. Good boy. During a session when we ask Rama to stand up, there is a reason behind why we ask for it. Um, we're looking at the bottom of his paws, chicken's pads, there's no cuts on them or anything, chicken his underbelly because you can't up. normally get that good a view when he's just walking around. And you get a good look at his teeth as well when he's up there and you're giving him some nice milk. It's also a good way to be able to see their mobility. So getting him to actually stand up, we're checking that his hips are all right, that he's got no soreness or stiffness through his back, um, sort of end of the body. Target. Good. Target. Good. The target stick is basically just a tennis ball on the end of a stick. And so what we do is we condition Rama to be like, okay, well, if I put my nose where that ball is, that's where I'm gonna get a reward. So that way we can manipulate him at different areas along the training wall so he knows, okay, ball's over there, I'm gonna put my nose over there, and then I'm gonna get a reward out of it. So a target's a good way to get their focus. So if you're asking them for a more complicated behavior in a different situation, a target's a real good, easy behavior that they'll focus on to kind of help get them through the more difficult training. Good. Sumatran tigers aren't doing so well in the wild. They are critically endangered, with there being around four to 500 individuals actually left in the wild. Rama just turned six years old, so still a pretty young cat. Um, he came to us from Oklahoma Zoo as part of the zoo's international breeding program. So along with Zayana, hoping that we get cubs out of them soon, and they will go on to be part of that larger breeding program through Australasia. Normally, if we are open to the public, um, we do allow our guests to come and um, experience one of these training sessions, but so I'll base a little bit of crowd control, making sure that Tori does have the okay. space to be able to work with Rama safely. Okay. Um, okay. But also when Tori has finished the session, I'll go along and I'll close okay. all those portholes just so that it keeps Rama nice and calm and then we can end the session. The session went really well today. Rama did everything I asked. He did start to lose a bit of focus at the end, but obviously it's up to him if he wants to finish. And I saw that he was kind of near the end of the session. So that's why we finished it when we did. I think he's finished. Right, I'm gonna start closing the portal story. Yeah, good man, you did really well. That's it, all done. The pink vest is a kind of a visual cue to him that we're doing a session, because obviously we do walk around the front during the day to either move them over our overhead tunnels or um, just to check on them. And so we don't want him to think every time we're walking past that we're gonna do a training session. So it's just a nice visual cue to go, all right, when I'm wearing the vest, um, we're doing a training session. So now that we've finished the session, you can see how chilled Ramar is. He's quite content after getting some nice little treats. Um, so we just wait for him to take himself away, um, probably go off and have a little sleep, and then what we'll do is we'll close that last little porthole, and that'll be the session that's finished. He's gone, so I'll close up that last porthole, and that's done. Really cool. <laughs> It's really cool, really like the individual behaviours and I like the variation between when you're working to tigers to lions, they're completely different. I love it. I've been with big cats for like 15 years now and every day is different, every day is exciting. They're just that little spark of joy in your day-to-day -day life. So if you are about in the zoo, just keep popping past our tiger habitats. You might be fortunate enough to see one of our training sessions.